What's up, YouTube Loop Troop and new Pokemon Pocketeers? We are showing you guys how to beat some more of these decks. And don't laugh at me when I mess up, damn it. Anyways, uh. <laughs> okay, so I'm showing you guys how to beat some of these expert battles on the solo battles so you can get some more of your resources. I made a video showing you how how valuable it actually is to actually mess around with the solo battles but now i'm going to actually go through and show you guys how to get some of the how to beat some of the toughest battles that there are and one of those battles you're going to have a tough ba time with is the charizard and moltres deck and i have a deck for you to use to beat that the i'm going to use two decks in this video um i didn't do this on the last one but i don't think i needed to though i'm going to show you because the, uh, the last one was a budget deck that i beat it with i'm going to show you a budget deck then i'm going to show you a, a very easy deck if you have the option opposite instead so first off this is the deck we're going to be using it's the wap deck and i know what you're thinking and yes it does stand for the wet ass pokemon deck so <clears throat> we have <clears throat> have a frog in my throat um we have two psyducks two tentacruels we have two crabbies oh yeah well we have one crabby where did my other crabby go darn it <laughs> So the deck that we're going to be using to actually beat the Charizard Moltres uh, battle on the expert solo missions is going to be the WAP deck. And yes, I know what you're thinking. It does stand for wet as Pokemon deck. Thank you. And what we got here is two Psyducks, two Tentacruels, two Krabby. We have two Golducks, two Tentacruels, and two Kingler. Uh, the rest of we got the standards, Pokeballs, Professor X's, a Potion, two Misty's and a Sabrina. So this deck is kind of an in-between of a bargain deck, but also a budget deck. I don't know, bargain sounds terrible. Budget sounds way better. Uh, a budget deck and also a little bit more of an expensive deck, but I'm gonna show an expensive deck beating it after after we show this one. We got Sabrina in here too, just just in case that it does get the Charizard in and we wanna kill something else, we can try to kill, kill it before that. But these cards, will probably be able to kill things a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, especially the gold duck, because it does 70 damage. What you wanna do is you wanna get that Moltres out as soon as possible. And most of these Pokemon, besides the Kingler, of course, they only need um, at least at a maximum of two energy to actually deal a ton of damage to that Moltres or to that Charizard they'll have out. So let's go ahead and take this and let's uh, run into the battle. And even, even doing this, it's still tough to get it on the first try like real talk. So you may you may not make it on the first try and that's fine. It does suck that we're going first. You kind of want to go second on these because these these um Pokemon are kind of uh, good, but we do have Krabby. We might be able to do something. Is that Moltres? It is Moltres. Good thing about Moltres is that at least it, um, it does have to get a lot of energy before it can actually attack us and it's probably going to get out before then but that's also why we have the that's also why we have i'm gonna go ahead and put this crabby out here too we have the sabrina so we can try to bring it back in all right so it's going to use professor research i like playing in solo mode because the computer does not take a long time to play Okay, so it's gonna start doing the Inferno Dance and it really comes down to what they're gonna get on the flips. Okay, good, bad, bad, okay. So they've already got two points on Growlithe. That does indeed suck. All right, let's 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 see if we can get a high roll on this Krabby with Misty. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so that's not the best, but we can go ahead and put this and don't forget they're gonna be weak to us so i could throw in kingler but i want to start putting some damage on this thing so i'm gonna go ahead and put some damage on that oh i'm sorry i forgot moltres isn't weak to us moltres is stupid and it's not a fire type it's a flying type i hate the, I, I hate the legendary birds because of that it's so silly it's extremely silly okay so next turn we can actually go into kingler and we can attack them for heavy damage. That's terrifying. Um, okay. He does have Charmander out too. Let's see what we're gonna get. Let's go ahead and put this on Krabby. We got Tentacruel, that's good. Or Tentacool. Put this down over here. And yeah, we got Tentacruel already. 
You know, I don't know if, if I'm like you guys, but I like putting the one that we got first down first. Oh, we got both of them out here. Might as well. No harm, no foul, right? All right, so flip two coins. If both of them are heads, this attack does 80 more damage. I don't think it's going to really matter that much. We might, we might get it. Well, we're going to kill that Moltres. That's good, but he's potentially going to kill us, which is not good. It really does suck. I didn't, I didn't really want to kill that right now, but yeah, this thing is going to kind of decimate us to be, to be honest. So what I am going to do, <laughs> oh man, this is bad. We have to hope and pray that we can actually get, what do I want to put out here? What do I want to put out? Hmm, I guess Kingler. We're not going to be able to get enough energy to get to that anyways. So I'm going to have to pivot and go for Tentacruel. And I don't even think Tentacruel is going to be, it does use energy. This uses energy whenever it attacks, I think, right? Or no, it actually just does damage to itself. So that's fine. We will bank. Oh, I didn't put the first one on. Anyways, we have to bank on them not being able to do that or hope that we can get our. Oh, he's got Charizard now, too. Ugh. See how good this deck is? Like I said, you're going to have some games where you just don't win fast enough and it just kind of skyrockets. Definitely skyrocketing right now. Put in Tentacruel. Uh, Psyduck, where are you at when we needed you earlier? Yeah, we're definitely done now. This, 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 we can't win this now. So, this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. Because it's going to kill us next turn. We cannot kill it. We don't have Sabrina. We're just going to go ahead and just pivot, get back out. We're going to pivot out of the entire game and pivot into another one. There's nothing, there's nothing we can do. So let's try this again. Sometimes that deck can just, can just steamroll you. And that's why these, these took me a little while to actually beat because they are tough. They're not just, they're not just pushovers. They actually have good cards in these, in these uh, decks. Good EX and they always, okay, so we're going second. So maybe we can actually do some damage. Um, okay, we have Krabby again. I would rather have gotten, um, oh, well, Charmander. This is actually pretty good for us. If we can get two energy before he gets to Charmeleon, then we can kill him. We can actually, yeah, we can kill him in a uh, one hit. Of course he got all that stuff. Okay. If we can get good hits with Misty, if we can get one good hit with Misty, we can stop this Charmander in his tracks. Well, Misty sucks. So these Professor would have been a much better option. Way better option. In my turn. There we go. It does need three energy, but I'm not talking about it attacking me. I'm more worried about us being able to attack it. Okay, see, yep, so it's already got it out. It's gonna put its Moltres in because it knows the it knows the way to play. <laughs> put Moltres in and do your best. Okay, just get a bunch of tails, please. And you got a lot, but not, not all of them. Okay, he's gonna put it back to the back line. It's still good because we don't have to worry about that really um, doing anything. I'm not gonna go into Kingler yet because Kingler needs uh, more energy. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and put Professor's research out. They should have just named it Professor Oak. Because I want to be able to attack this this turn. And then next turn, I might be able to kill this. See, it's just it's popping off already. Look at this. Look, just somebody come look at this. Watch it get three heads. Watch it get a hat trick. Oh, oh hat trick tails. No. At least it's not getting a ton. That's that's our best case scenario. But you know he has Charizard already, right? Like there's no way he doesn't, right? There's no way he doesn't have Charizard. Let's go ahead and put this on this. And we will use Misty on Tentacruel. Probably hit nothing. See? Wow. 
And this is why my argument of Moltres being way better than Misty is always, is always uh, there. When you get to flip so many coins, do I want to put in Krabby? Sure. It's already ready to go up there. All right, that's fine. I actually don't think we want to um, retreat yet, but he's probably going to retreat next turn and go into Charizard. He just needs to put one point over there. I'm going to go into Charizard. He'll do, he'll do Slash. So here's the thing. I may be able to kill this thing. Uh, if I, if I hit, if I am to hit, I got, I got to hit a really good, honestly, it, it just kills us next turn. If I don't hit this, I got to get both heads. Oh, we'll try it. I guess, I guess I can go ahead and lay down tentacle tentacle. It's gonna, it's gonna, this is gonna die next turn. Anyways, if we don't hit double heads, come on. Well, we tried. I can still kill it next turn with Tentacruel, though. It'll kill us, but we'll kill it. And it has two EXs that it can throw out. It doesn't have any energy on any of them, so. Okay, so it kills us. That's its first hit, but we're gonna still be in the lead. Cause Tentacruel will kill it. Which is good. All right, let's go ahead and get some more, some more Pokemon. Hopefully, Psyduck, Tentacruel. Go ahead and lay down Psyduck. Lay down Tentacruel. Right. Let's go ahead and kill this Charizard. We know it's gonna die because we're gonna deal 50 plus 20 uh, plus another 10 because it's gonna poison it. Okay. Kill the Charizard. Now, what's he gonna throw in here? Probably this Moltres, I'm assuming. Probably not gonna be this one, unless the computer's dumb. Sometimes it is. Okay, so nope, it's not dumb, not in this case. All right, so we can deal some heavy damage to this. And don't forget, every time it kills us, it's only dealing one point of um of the, of the damage. So, see what it hits. Okay, that was good, that was good. We are also going to poison this thing. So it's going to have to, it's basically going to have to get out. I'm going to put a point on, um, uh, I'll put a point on gold duck. I'm going to poison it. We're going to be dealing a lot of damage to this thing. Now we're going to deal 70 each turn so we can kill it. If it does not get out. No, it's also trying to go into its, uh, oh, okay. Oh, it, went, it healed that Moltres in the back line. I don't know why I did that. Don't forget, this is a computer. They don't do logic, they do arithmetic. I don't know why they did that. He's getting some really bad rolls. It's good. He's probably gonna go into Charizard next turn. Um, so here's the thing. I am going to kill this now and win. I see a kill on retreating. Going into Gold Duck. And now we just go for the kill shot. And it's that's it. Okay, so <laughs> we 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 made it out alive versus that deck. That is still a very tough battle. Like I you're not supposed to be playing these battles until you have better cards to actually beat them. Um so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to beat it if you have a good deck versus it. This deck is not necessarily bad, but you can get way better when it comes to um, beating this Charizard EX in the expert mission. And I'm gonna show you that real quick. We'll be right back. All right, so this deck right here is going to be a deck that you use when you, if you have these cards available, this is how easy this can be if you actually have it. It's still gonna be tough, but we should be able to do it fairly quickly. This is a star me deck. Gonna be very good versus that Charizard and Moltres deck. 
um very aggressive it's the most aggressive deck in the game um is what i would say you got two star you two star me two articuno ex's i believe that's all you're gonna need and it's better to keep it nice and simple because doing that will allow you to pull your pokemon a little bit easier because with the pokeballs you know you have your star use and then you're just hoping to get these ex enhancements but with articuno you might be able to get that out early instead as well you only need two points to actually start doing some damage to this and you can do 80 with blizzard and it's also going to hit the back line so we got potions we got xp pokeballs press the researchers misty two giovanni's two sabrina's we got to keep those things out when we don't want them in and that's what sabrina's for giovanni's there's so just so we can do a little bit of extra damage um that little extra damage can sometimes make a break being able to beat it very quickly sounds weird again anyways okay let's go ahead and get into the battle all right so getting in here and let's see if we go second we, ideally you want to go second if you don't it's fine it's perfectly fine all right we got star you we don't have a star me it's kind of okay and like i said you might not beat this the first time you play it and that's perfectly fine because these are very tough these are these are very tough um decks to be going against let's go ahead and use a pokeball got our articuno ex Okay, um, might as well use Misty on Articuno. Don't really need to use it on Star U. Okay. Good hits. Uh, Misty can also be make or break, obviously, um, with this deck. Okay, we're gonna end our turn. We can't do anything because Articuno's in the back line, and that's fine. We didn't get energy first. Nothing we can do about that. All right. So he's searching his deck, looking for those Charizards. He's got another, another Moltres. That's fine. Oh, he already had a Charizard, the bastard. All right, so he's going to use Inferno Dance. And hopefully he does not get any good hits. Tails, heads, tails. Okay. If they keep getting luck like this, we will be A-OK. -okay. We're going to swap now because we still don't have... We still don't have Starmie. So there's no reason to even have Star you up there. So let's go ahead and retreat. Go to Articuno, and we are gonna hit with Blizzard. And Blizzard's gonna start peppering the back line with 10 damage as well. Um, we don't need to use Giovanni because we're gonna kill this in two hits of Blizzard anyways. So let's go ahead and do it. Yep, we know support can be used, that's fun. I could also have made him um, take that off. So he's gonna go into a Charmander, okay, that's fine. It's gonna go into Moltres. Okay, please don't get any more heads. Crap. It's gonna put those on Charmander. Okay. So my question now is where is he gonna be? Like, what's he gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and Sabrina him cause maybe he'll be dumb. Or I guess he's not gonna be dumb, but he'll put he's gonna put in Charmander, Charmeleon, I mean. And we are gonna go ahead and put a point on Star U. Hopefully, he probably does have it. If he does have um, Charizard, there's nothing I can do about it, but there we go, we kill it. I forgot that this is, we're looking at this from the um, outside looking in. This Moltres is flying type, so he should not put that in there. <laughs> cause we could just kill it, cause we deal extra damage to it. We're water type. It's so weird to think that, that Articuno is a water type, cause it's really not. It's really an ice type, but this game doesn't have ice types, I guess. So there we go. So we did beat we did beat it out. So we should be doing pretty good now, though, because he does not have Charmander. So you can't go into Charizard anymore. And that's the main thing you want to do with this deck is just try your best to beat them before they can even get set up. And that's kind of what we've done here. So, okay. So we have Starmie EX now. So I can do a few different things right now. If I wanted to, I could just go ahead and put Starmie EX up um, for free. Honestly, I have two. I have uh, two, two EXs. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna put a point on it, and I am just going to attack. Just use Blizzard, hit the back line too. All right. 
little little fun fact Articuno was my first legendary Pokemon I caught on a blue version of course I did the save <laughs> the save strategy which I didn't even know was a strategy until I was you know until later days because I, I just did it you know so now we win this battle very easily we didn't lose a single Pokemon we're just gonna go ahead and just end it we don't have to worry about doing anything energy supporter is not used I don't care I'm just gonna go ahead and end it because we know that he should have gotten out but even if he got out it wouldn't have mattered there we go so that's how you beat this with a deck that actually has like a lot of good cards in it uh <laughs> we were playing with that budget deck it was a little bit tougher we actually lost the first game we played with it but we still won the second one so the main thing is try to play with an aggressive water deck and you should be able to beat this fairly easily um yep so like i said if you guys have any more questions about Pokemon Pocket, please come to the Twitch, come to the Discord, uh, message me on Twitter, I don't care. Uh, ask away. I've been playing this game for a month, just flew back in from New Zealand. Um, but yeah, um, I really enjoy the game. I hope you guys are too. I'm gonna finish doing the expert missions for you guys, um, just, just to give you guys some tips on how to beat them. Um, and I guess, you know, have fun. It's been, it's been real. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.